Yo, what is going on everybody? It's Juan Solo here with A Squad Gaming and welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for tuning in today guys. In today's video, we're going to be talking about some more Ghost Recon Wildlands weapons, in particular the shotguns. So unfortunately there's only actually three different shotguns in the game and then there's one variant um, that you get from killing a boss of a region of each of those three shotguns. So we're going to dive right into it. So the first shotgun you actually get is the, um, the Super Shorty, which is this right here. And there's only one attachment. Um, that you can actually switch out and I believe that's the barrel you can put a long barrel on it everything else stays exactly the same damage is pretty high handling obviously because it's such a short stubby shotgun is very high absolutely no range I mean anything past like 15 20 feet you will not hit someone which kind of sounds a little crazy but uh, if you're really like close quarters you know working your way in and around buildings and stuff like that this thing is an absolute monster it's really really fun to use um, so next up we have the SASG-12. This is um, definitely more of a modular shotgun. It has a little bit more range, um, a little bit higher damage. Accuracy is not quite as much there. Handling is down because obviously this thing is the size of an assault rifle. Um, the rate of fire, not too bad, but uh, overall it's a pretty good shotgun. Um, from my point of view, um, it's been in a few other um, Ubisoft games and also Call of Duty games. Um, overall, it's a pretty modular shotgun. But uh, next up, we're going to be talking about probably the most badass one in the game, and that is the Spaz 12. So the damage is almost all the way up. Range really isn't that bad for a shotgun. Handling's pretty good. Um, but uh, overall, this is going to be your go-to probably if you're going to be using a shotgun is the Spaz 12. Um, and uh, overall, it's probably the best shotgun in the game. The other ones are have a little bit less range. And uh, this one just has a lot of history behind it being what it is. So uh, it's a pretty good shotgun. Next up, we have basically the variant, which is the El Conquesta, Quintista, um, basically of the Super Shorty. And uh, it's pretty much the same um, across the board for handling and everything. The stats are the same, except it's just red with black grips. Um, next, we have the El Obsequin, Sequio, Sequio, we'll call it that. Don't get I'm, I'm terrible with these names, guys, so please, you know, apologize. Um, but uh, this is pretty much the exact same as the Spaz-12 other one, except the damage is actually a little bit higher. The damage is all the way up, and then you can see the little engraving, the Parapapa, on the front there, and it looks, there's a couple little etchings there um, into the grip, and uh, it kind of has a black on gray kind of theme to the whole weapon itself. But uh, last but not least, we have the Silencio. So the Silencio, this thing is, obviously, noise reduction, reduction is all the way up, um, silencer on it so it's basically silent dead silent it has a cool little sight on it it's got a drum magazine on it I mean overall this thing is gonna be an absolute monster at close quarters it's gonna be really fun to use and then you can kind of see the little bit of engraving with the skulls and stuff around the base of the pistol grip also as the back of the the charging handle there and the back of the stock so overall this is probably one of the cooler weapons in the game that you actually get from a boss just because of the cool things on it and then the other little engravings and stuff on the actual drum magazine itself but uh, that is all for the shotguns guys there's only six technically six shotguns in the game three different versions or three actual base weapons but uh, you know nonetheless they are a few shotguns in the game I'm assuming they're probably gonna add some more possibly with um, DLC and stuff like that so that is pretty much all for the video guys if you guys enjoyed it and you guys are pumped to use some of the shotguns in Ghost Recon Wildlands make sure to leave a like on the video guys it uh, it only takes a second and uh, it would be much appreciated also if you guys are new around here make sure to subscribe for more Ghost Recon Wildlands content leading up to and through the post launch of the game and uh you know it's gonna be really fun covering this game i'm having a lot of fun you guys are showing a lot of support so thank you so much for watching guys and i will catch you guys later peace out